Hello, I'm still chasing my last rabbit, but I decided to chase another one at the same time related to a video that Dave McKeegan put out on flight routes. I had for the most part everything already done for my clock app, but one thing that Dave McKeegan asked is whether or not I could use the Mercator projection. And the Mercator projection was one I did not use or had implemented at least yet. And that's what I did yesterday. And this morning what I did was I worked on an option to my Flat Earth Clock app, which is now turning into feature creep, to be able to plot any arbitrary path or track on the Earth with lat lawn coordinates in any projection mode that I want. The issue that I found with what Dave McKeegan was doing was taking a screenshot of what appeared to be Flight Radar 24 screenshots or something, I don't know, and then wrapping it on a globe. And since I like to deal with lat long coordinates and just add them to a specific projection, the trick that I had was trying to find a route that went from New York to Moscow, like what's his name was referring to. And due to that little thing going on between Moscow and their neighbor to the west, a lot of countries have decided to stop international flights to Moscow. Thankfully, with a bit of Googling, I was able to find this flight on Flight Aware, which happened to be over five years ago. It was in the opposite direction from Moscow to New York, but it should pretty much follow the same kind of path that what's-his-name was going on about. I was able to view the track log, and then from the track log, download the KML file. And then from the KML file, I was able to extract all the different latitude-longitude coordinates with the, their assumptions associated times that were expressed in UTC. I then converted the time to my local time and then I was able to feed all of that into my multi-projection clock app. And now without any more fanfare, I'm going to play the AE map projection. <laughs> Then I'm going to play the equirectilinear projection map. Now I'm going to play the new Mercator projection map. And not to be outdone, I'm going to play the globe projection now. And last but not least, I am going to play the 3D rendering of the flight with the wall-eyed, quote, parallel convergence format. So 
So now that I have all these different projections and the infrastructure necessary to create these kinds of videos, I am going to explore a whole lot more flights, particularly some of them that are in the southern hemisphere. I think, what is it, Qantas Flight 14 is it, or 28, 27, 28. I'm going to explore some of those and make a whole bunch more videos. So with that, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that other good YouTube stuff. And with that, I'm going to see you again in another video probably very soon. Bye for now.